Hello, Sydney here and today we're going to have a look at the Loose Leaf Teas and Infuser gift set by Liberty. Now I actually bought this at uh, John Lewis in London and it's available on the John Lewis website. I'm not sure, I can't see it on the Liberty website but it's probably there so I will leave links down below. Uh, so it retails for £25. Uh, it's a very beautiful box, very colourful, sort of uh, almost William Morris style. And let's have a look at what we have inside. So we have here um, a sort of velvet, um, velvet-like uh, spacing. We have we have the English Garden Tea. We have the Earl Grey tea, we have lemongrass and ginger tea, and we have the mint tea, and we have a gold plated tea infuser. And that's all the sort of the so English tea, a fragrant and summery blend of chamomile and rose, lemongrass and ginger tea, a fresh citrus blend of lemongrass and lime flower with a fiery crick kick of root ginger earl grey tea a classic blend of black tea and natural bergamot flavor sprinkled with vibrant flowers and the mint tea is a perfect balanced blend of cooling peppermint and sweet spearmint leaves so let's have a look at the tins that's the english garden tea um oops. oopsie <laughs> So I think they're, oops, that's the back, so they're all 10 grand tins, uh, no actually I'm wrong about that, uh, the English garden tea is 10 grams, the lemongrass and ginger tea is, tw and the earl grey tea is 12 gra uh, 12, 20 grams rather, and the mint tea is 15 grams, and if you look, they, they um, that's the ingredients, so you have chamomile, lemon, verbena, rose petals, nettle, blue cornflower and lavender, uh, ginger, lemongrass, lime leaves, linden blossom, uh, earl grey, it's called selen, orange, peco, black tea, mallow flowers, pink cornflowers, natural bergamot flavour, and on the mint tea, uh, peppermint and spearmint. So this is absolutely fine for people who have nut allergies and vegetarians so if you want to treat yourself to something a little more luxurious especially now christmas is coming up um this is uh something you'd like to go for so yes very pretty so uh let's get on with the tasting first of all we're going to draw the tea and have a look at what colour comes out when you add the water. And for this, I'm going to break out my tea infusers. I've already got one here. That's very pretty. See? Nice. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with the boiling. So, uh, we've been steeping our teas for a little while now. And we're just looking at the colours of them. As you'd expect, the lemongrass and ginger is a sort of yellowish, pale yellow colour, uh, slightly green. Um, there's a lovely smell coming off of it. Then you have the mint tea, which is usually dark. Uh, yeah, slightly green. Um, you have the English garden tea, which is a sort of reddish brown colour. And of course, the Earl Grey is a dark brown color uh, as it usually is so uh, we're going to get on to the tasting now and see what these teas are like okay okay we're going to start with the lemongrass and ginger tea Very citrus notes, almost immediately. Very lemony, but sort of a very sweet lemon. Very 
very lemony taste. A real palate cleanser of a tea, this. Mm. Not really getting the sting of ginger that you'd expect. It's more of a slight little tickle on the tongue than um, a punch of ginger. But the lemongrass is there in full. Very good citrus notes. Very good. There's a slightly the mouth feel on it. It's, it. it sort of tickles the tongue. Um, so yes, very citrusy, very light, um, lovely citrus smell. Um, quite an oriental taste. Very nice. Okay, now we have the mint tea. Lovely mint aroma. This is a mix of peppermint and spearmint, so it's not just peppermint. It's not oily, as far as I can see. It's quite a clear liquid. Uh, clear, dark brown, slightly orangey looking brew. So let's give this a taste. Very minty. Um, not oily, it's not oily on the tongue, which is um, something I find at fault with a lot of mint teas is that they have a quite an oily sensation, oily mouthfeel. But this is smooth, it's quite sweet, it's not overpoweringly uh, minty. Um, it's very good. Mm. Slips down very easily. Good aroma, good taste. Okay, the next one is the English Garden Tea. Quite a sweet aroma, quite sort of fruity, quite floral. Um, It's, it's not it's not a very overpoweringly floral uh, tea it's 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 subtle there's a sweetness there um, definitely taste a, a, a bit of the lavender um, very good Slightly biscuity as well. I like that. It's it's has a slight biscuity quality to it. Um, yes, definitely the lavender is coming through, but it's a very subtle lavender. It's not. You don't want a mouthful of flowers when you're drinking tea. So um, very subtle. Um, getting a slight hint of rose now coming through. Um, not as fruity as I would have imagined it to be, but still a very good cup of tea. Uh, final one is the Earl Grey. Now Earl Grey, of course, is a particular favourite of mine. Let's give it a sniff. Mmm, that's an unusual aroma. Mmm. I'm getting the tea, definitely, but I'm not getting the sort of uh, citrus aromas and notes that you'd get with it. Remember as well, this is also quite floral because it does have cornflower and uh, other flor flour, uh, dried flour in it as well. So, quite strong. Ooh. Gives a, um, a slightly dry mouthfeel. Mm. I'm definitely getting the tea, but I'm not very not getting the sort of citrus notes, the sort of bergamot citrus quality that you usually get with an Earl Grey. That's not to say it's not a good cup of tea, it's just not saying Earl Grey to me. The tea is coming through very strongly. Hmm. 
Yes, it, it does. It does leave a bit of a bitter um, mouth feel with this. Um, okay, bit of a letdown, but still very good, refreshing cup of tea. Not quite sure if I'd sort of classify this as an Earl Grey, but it's still a very nice cup of tea. So, but I'd have to say, out of all of these. Um, it's a tie-up between the English Garden Tea and the Mint Tea. Um, it's a very nicely presented um, gift set. The box uh, is very beautiful. The tins are very beautiful in that sort of William Morris style. Um, if you're looking for a sort of luxury tea gift, I'd highly recommend this, especially with Christmas coming up. Um, Especially because you get this as well, the uh, gold-plated tea strainer, um, which is very, very handy. Uh, they are loose teas, of course, so um, they do require a bit more extra handling. So that was Liberty um, Tea Infuser Variety Box. Um, uh, overall, a quite a pleasant experience. Um, so, okay, this has been The Tea Drinker, I've been Sid Mnemonic, I will see you in the next video.